Welcome into this edition of Quarterback Meetings with me, Eric Gange. Quarterback Meetings right here on Sports Radio WML are brought to you by Amerigas Heritage Propane. Again, Amerigas.com, HeritagePropane.com. You hear it every time. And LCUB, 1-844-HOUR-LCUB. Call them and get set up on your phone. I did it. Have a bill in front of you. Call that number, 1-844-HOUR-LCUB, and get them in, get you in their system. It's very easy. If there's a power outage or anything, all those calls go directly to you. And again, Amerigas and Heritage Propane, great companies, residential, commercial, for anything you need propane, think Amerigas.com. Last video we did, we talked about the first two ways to read a pass play. There's only three ways to do it as a quarterback. You drop back, it's either a pure progression, is he open, is he open, is he open, a big alert, which is just a pure progression with a backside tag on it. I'm going to go one to two to three unless I have the slant route backside. I'm going to go one, two, three unless that 10 yard out is just what I want backside. That's a big alert play. Again, very self-explanatory. Today we're going to go through what we call PSLs. These are coverage-based reads. These are pre-snap, post-snap. They're disguising, safeties rotating, blitzing. What are we going to do? You have to have a good knowledge of the game to be efficient in the passing game when you're calling these kind of pass plays, PSLs. First one we're going to look at is just if you did it by numbers, it'd be 585, 585. It's just two comebacks on the outside with an inside read route by the tight end. So if the tight end sees two safeties right here, he's going to run a what we call a cover two post route. We've seen tight ends here catch them for all, over the years. Ethan Wolf caught several just last year alone. Four yards inside the near safety shoulder. He's going to run it, break towards that upright. That is the inside route versus cover, cover two, a two shell, right? This comeback, if it's a two shell, if this is a tough corner out here, not an off corner, if it's a tough corner, he's going to best release and then get outside and run the shoot out here. And you end up with this stretch on this strong safety out here, and that's what you're looking for. Inside, out versus two shell, down to number three and number four here in the flat. So if I go out there and I see cover two and I have 580, 585 on, hut, hut, looks like two shell. Sure enough, it is. Set 25, green 25, hut, hut, boom, get that ball, make that play action fake. And I'm trying to come off that fake and go bang right here, 18 to 22 yards. If not, because he drove or they dropped, then the ball goes here or the ball goes here. And you have the take it principle like you hear me do every time. Don't pass up an open flat. Take it if they're out there in the flat and they're wide open. If you didn't have that look, all right, let's say you had a cover three look, just a one high look, nice and easy. One safety deep in the middle. You had them right here. It's all on a string and they rotate down to the strong side. It looks like a run formation. You're going to end up not with this cover two post route, but a little 14 yard dig route by number two right here. This becomes the number two read no matter what side you work to. So if I have a three shell, my thought process, a one high safety, is I need to go away from the rotating down safety and start outside and work in. So let's say the strong safety comes down here and the free safety goes back to the middle here. If I'm working away from rotation, I'm working away from that guy outside in. And it would be one to two to three. That's really not that hard. Getting to the point of going, all right, come back, dig, check down. One, two, boom, play action fake, stick foot in the ground, not open, get to the dig, not open, find the check down. That's not hard. Seeing the rotation and seeing the safeties and doing it with someone trying to rip your head off is what separates guys that can and guys that can't. As you look at the last one, the last part of a PSL read on almost all of these, you get three shell and two shell. So you just heard me go through three shell and two shell. The last one is quarters. Quarters gets treated differently. It's a run stopping defense, base cover three, cover four, teams run it. Every team has it in there. But a lot of guys in high school especially, they, they're taught to look out there and see two safeties means two shell. It's a totally different coverage. The strong safety in here, once he releases through about eight to 10 yards, is gonna guard him man to man, which means we're isolated out here and we wanna work on a one-on-one -on -one matchup. I don't have a number two receiver over here. So anytime you have a PSL read and there is no number two receiver, this free safety's job is number two. If there is no number two, double number one. And he's looking for all the routes he can get to, like out routes, comebacks, 
digs, curls. He's trying to rob anything breaking in this area. And I have nothing to hold him. So why on earth would I work weak into quarters? You wouldn't. You'd work to the side that had a number two eating up the strong safety. So three shell, outside in, two shell, inside out, quarters, outside in. But you have to work strong. If you work over here weak, you're playing with fire that this isn't a really good free safety. That's an example of a PSL read. There's so many things that go into it. You really have to have a good understanding of the game to know all that, see all that, process that, and go snap the ball and avoid the pressure and still find the completion. That's today's version of quarterback meetings, going through the different ways to read these passing plays. Again, you can submit your requests at sportsradiownml.com.